very early on, I, I knew that I wanted to act as, as far as I can remember, six or seven years old. My mom used to, we used to put on shows at our house. We would put a sheet up over a closet and perform for each other. I had, you know, six siblings and that's what we did. I've worked a lot doing uh, episodic television guest spots because that's what paid the bills or worked for a couple of weeks on a film because there's a big shoot up scene in the restaurant and you know you're one line they need you in case you're running across this camera and those uh, things were the residuals that kept me going. You have to believe in a power higher than yourself because you will be down on yourself. We beat ourselves up more than anybody. So I definitely believe that the grace of God, you know, brought Tate Taylor into my life. Octavia Spencer, the house. I think everything happens at a time when it's supposed to. I honestly would not be as grateful as I am, A, had I not done this character who had so little, and B, had, I, had it not happened to me at 39. If things really blossomed for me when I was, you know, 27, 28, I would not be the person that I am today because I would act as if it was a, a, a never-ending gift. And it does end. If it ends for the thin, beautiful women, it also ends for us big, beautiful women. So I'm grateful that it's happening at a time where I can appreciate it and appreciate that it is a gift. When I'm working on a film, I never spend time in my trailer, only long enough to get the clothes on. I want to be around the best of the best, and that's how you learn. You learn by doing. You learn by being active, and you learn by watching the greats do what they do. If you build it, they will come. Or, and I consider myself to just to be laying a foundation brick by brick. You know, every job, every interview, every, I don't take anything for granted. I really don't.